Okay, unpopular opinion, don't like pickles. I'll leave that to someone. Monday, what's going on Team Super? It is the start of a week and I had a realization right off the bat this morning. I woke up and I was tired and I was like, oh, I can't believe it's Monday and I have to do a week of work. And then I had to literally stop myself and be like, oh, I slapped myself for real. I was like, yo, don't turn into one of those people that's like, oh, I can't believe it's Monday. I hate Monday to Friday. I can't wait for the weekend. True, my schedule has changed in a way where I have weekends off now sometimes, which is a new thing for me. Generally, my schedule used to be whatever has to happen, so weekends didn't really mean anything to me. But now, weekends mean something to me. And I was like, no, stop. You have an amazing job. You get to be creative. Sure, you're tired. Sure, it's a lot of work. F that. You get to be creative. You're around dope people. You have a live audience that supports you every mother effing day. Wake up on Monday and be like, yo, it's Monday. We mother effing do this. This ish. So I just wanted to share that with you. We don't have to wake up with this whole dreadful, oh, can't wait for the weekend. No. Let's make every day the vibes of the weekend, even if we gotta work. Let's do it. In other news, I took a great poop. I like a great poop. You know, you take a poop and you're like, did I just lose 10 pounds? Gave birth to a baby, didn't even know I was pregnant. Um, I also, during the weekend, saw Zombieland 2 Double Tap. I love zombie movies, as you know. It's really good. And another cool thing about this show is that because all these people are coming on my show and promoting their movies, when I'm driving down Hollywood, when I see billboards, like, oh, I know that movie. Oh, I know what that movie's about. Oh, she came on my show. So I feel like I'm just so much more in tune with content. Taylor! So let's walk them through what happens every morning. Every morning I walk in, Taylor's mm -hmm. here. I walk over here, and the first thing I do is I go over to the AC and I put it on off because it's usually on cool. And then I walk over here right mm -hmm. when she goes into her room and yeah. I make sure that I quietly put it back to cool. No, 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 not even, not even, you don't do that. But then when I leave and I go to rehearsal, I go, listen, I'm leaving, you can put it back on. They literally go, it's, it's a race, back. it's a race for everyone else up here. To be fair, only his room gets hot. Everyone else is also cold. The other day, Lily put the heat on and By uh, tried to melt me up. By out. mistake. So I had an hour lunch. I just spent the first 30 minutes going through emails, catching up on work, and now I have 30 minutes to... Bye. Okay, I actually napped 0% and I just went through Instagram pictures and freaking did Tom Foolery. Story of my life. So, one of my editors, Glenn, has this sign outside his room and I never understood it because it's literally with Lily saying, but then there's pictures of like, all these other people like that I get, but like, we should ask Glenn about this. Can I come in? Yes. Glenn, I always wanted to ask you, what is this, what are these pictures about here? Okay. That Come explain. Explain okay. to me, Glenn. This is not me. <laughs> that could be Scarborough's future friend. Okay, well, what is that? Did you make okay. this? Yes, I did. This is okay. kind of like a vision board for me oh, that I got yes. inspired by Lily to do one day. I go, I'm working on a show. She's so inspiring. Everything she does. I go, you know what? I should show that she's she's more than just a person. I'm more than just an editor on her show. So these are all the things that inspired me. Um, You're a gem. As I work here. You're a gem. And it's a pleasure to be here. We're so. going to dive into this. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. Every day I walk here and I freeze. But I will also have you know that the other people in the office are also cold. It's not just me. Sure, I like it hotter than normal, but it's still cold for everybody else. Is it not cold in here? Is it not cold in here? Uh, Folks, you you're wearing a goddamn look at this. No, this is, this is a fashion. No, no, life. no, this is a fashion statement. Look, uh, it's Prada. Is it Prada? Black label. Wow. Fashion statement. Fashion John has statement. a book. Good morning! Good morning, camera! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning, everybody! Good morning! 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 Hi! Mum, 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 yeah, I'm not coming. Yeah, no, it's pretty terrible. I know. See, you see that reaction? <laughs> I feel like I can't push anymore, and then somehow I keep pushing. Okay. <laughs> it's incredible. What up, show two, outfit on point. Y'all, I just did a show, it was not great. It's always hard when I have a show and I know I did bad. Like, I didn't perform the monologue very well, I flubbed a few things, we redid it so it's fine, but just throws my energy off. There's, today's a tough day at work, there's so many things changing last minute, there's technical errors, and like, I can feel when I'm not doing a good job and I just did not do a good job. So I'm gonna, <sighs> deep breath, we have another show, it's all good. Onwards and upwards. Well, the hardest thing I've had to learn about this show is unlike my YouTube channel where I could control everything at some times with the show, it's like, that one was 80% good. And that's just the way it's gonna be. There's no redoing the whole thing. That's okay. You can't win them all. You try our best. Yo! I just finished shooting with my favorite people's ever, Debbie Francia. They were amazing. I had so much fun on the show. And I thought we could do a fun little segment about okay. our guilty pleasures in a few different categories. Are you guys done? Yes, got that. All right, cool. 
What is your guilty pleasure fast food item? Um, fried pickles from a hot wing place. <laughs> you ever been to, you ever been to like Hooters, Buffalo Wild Wings, they get mad great fried pickles. Okay, unpopular opinion, don't like pickles. I'm like, no, I don't like pickles either, yeah. I'm sorry. I feel like you either love them or you hate them. What's, yeah, your, what's your guilty? You ever had them fried? I don't like pickles. Does that change it? I don't like pickles. Yeah. Because it tastes more like fried than pickle. Okay, fine. Well, well, well one time we'll try it. I talked about it on your show, tacos from Jack in the Box. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with Chipotle, although it's really fast food. It's more gourmet yeah. dining, yeah. if no, anything. She's chic. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or tacos from the street. I'm going to change my answer. Yeah. yeah. Tacos from the street. You're saying tacos. You're trying to say it all the time. Tacos from the street. Because she's like, my opinion matters more because I can say tacos. Okay, we get it. Grocery item. I mean, yogurt. Coffee. Yeah. Wow. From the grocery store? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like, like, Doritos, like d d just like yeah. anything that you can get from a 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. I like. Movie theater style buttery popcorn. Uh, not not yeah. just buttery, movie style. Mm -hmm. so it's, like a, it's like they add okay, popcorn the, to the butter or okay, yeah, yeah. anything. Yeah. No, no, you're great. Yeah. No. What about a show to watch? I already know. The Bachelor. Yeah. Yeah. Bachelor. The Bachelor. Yeah. Actually, Bachelor in Paradise. This was so good. It was so good. So good. So good. <laughs> if you watch it with us, we'll ruin you. Yeah. <laughs> movie. Moulin Rouge. My, At Chicago. Yeah. Mine is White Chicks, a classic movie right. that will ne true. would never be able to be made in today's That's day and true. age. But so good. But so good. So, so I think good. they're making a sequel. <laughs> I no. think they're making a sequel. What? Yeah, it was announced. Are they making it at Lily in response to the fact that she just said that? <laughs> Clothing purchase. Oh, I love to go to thrift stores and get uh, t-shirts for like summer camps or elementary schools that I never went to and rep them very proudly. Oh, and then when awesome. people are like, oh That's yeah, good. like how was space camp? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just wear sweats. I, I love that. Sweats. Okay. I have this obsession with backpacks. I don't go to school and I don't need a backpack, but I have like a hundred and there's so I just like backpacks. Where I'm high up. Yeah, like I this. just yeah, I just like backpacks. Music. Mm, I don't know if it's guilty, but whatever. I, anytime there is a Taylor Swift song, I will listen to it. <laughs> Absolutely, what's right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, it's Absolutely. not guilty. I don't even feel guilty about it. So mm -hmm. I teach yoga on the weekends, and my core, uh, my cardio song is Tricky from Run DMC. Great. Right? Like, I listen to that always to see it hyped up. My guilty pleasure, and as I've talked about this before, is that I consider myself a feminist, but then I like really hardcore trap music, which is like really derogatory, but like I'll yeah. just listen to whatever they say because it sounds good. But yeah. Celeb crush. Harmless as a kid, celeb crush. Oh. Mm. Mm. As a kid or today? Either. Okay, I'll just do both. As a kid, it was Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> oh. And now it's Roman Reigns. That's fair. 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 Very fair. Boom. I appreciate and respect yeah. that. As a kid, Besides it's like, thing, obviously. <laughs> I almost said you, and I was like, it's, that's like funny, and it sounds like I'm just trying to get more screen time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a no surprise. You guys would know this in the back. There's two. This is mine with Dwayne Johnson, Selena Gomez. You already know. Hey, that's what's up. This episode's gonna be dope when it airs. Dude, y'all need to stop whatever you're doing. Yo, you Debbie and I can hook you up with Selena. We, got, we know her. Yeah. I know her too! Yeah, uh, <laughs> and you're still, but okay. publicly saying, you're still publicly saying she's your celeb crush. Is it ever awkward? See, you, like, we, you're we, gonna run into her we already yeah. talked about this. Yeah. Remember on the couch, we were yeah. like, oh, when you're a fan of someone, yeah. they start and like falling yeah. yeah. So now I definitely have to like have, be more chill when Dwayne and Selena and other people are around. Yeah. yeah. You know, because I don't want to like be that person. But I just greatly admire them. That's what it is. I wish there was a celeb crush, but for just someone that you so desperately want to like live a lifestyle with. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I started and ended my day every day, hanging out with The Rock, mm -hmm. I would be happy for Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. I would be so happy. Do you know what the biggest example of this that pained me is that once I got the show and I had to be professional, when I did meet Beyonce for the first time, I wasn't able to like go on my show and be like, I got my mother, I got my Beyonce! I had to like be super cool. chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. But did I pee? Absolutely. Yeah. Was I able to say that? No. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you time. just do it just now? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go clean myself up. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I feel way better about the second show. Debbie, Francia, I love it. The energy is good. I'm telling you, the talent is a really big make or break for me because especially if they're people I've met before and like they're just more open to have conversations with me. Like, let me just vlog like this. They're more open to have conversations with me. It really is the make or break of this show. A little bit of a rough day at work. Things kind of fell apart, but yo, like I said, 96 episodes, it's kind of going to happen. I can't wait to find out what's happening with this show. Like I can't, I, I don't know when this decision is gonna get made. I'm literally just a bystander here being like, I'm new to this, I don't understand. Like, am I gonna get a season two? Am I not? I have no idea. I really hope we get a season two. But if we do, I was just also thinking that my life literally will go from shooting, 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 stop. Everything else, shooting, shooting, shooting. So it's like, this is a big life change. Like, I think it's right now occurring to me that this is a big life change. I don't know how to go back to normal life. So, Hopefully we'll get season two. <laughs>